All of us at UMAG are showing our appreciation for our home station. This year marks a special milestone for the very TV station you're watching right now. We serve uh, residents of at least 36 counties in central Missouri, and we reach nearly a million viewers in all the different households. Running a TV station is no small task, but the departments of KMOS work together to ensure that all the benefits of PBS programming are shared with the communities of mid-Missouri. KMOS has served the community in a lot of programming that is not necessarily carried on the uh, commercial networks. It is free over the air, and I, I think that's not understood by a lot of people these days. It's pretty much dictated by our viewers as to what they watch. Over the years, KMOS has worked with PBS to bring you the best in programming. Part of the reason I started working here is because PBS has a lifelong mission of, of learning and giving back to the community. Well, as being a public school teacher, education is near and dear to me. Being able to work here in the educational outreach department allows me to be able to empower people in literacy and to encourage them to watch our children's programming. One of the things that makes KMOS so much different than other PBS affiliates is that it's located in the heart of a university, giving students the opportunities to get real world experience in broadcasting. It's been a learning experience for our students, you know, a valuable experience that they come down here and learn from professionals and learn all the different things that go on at the station, uh, not just on the air, but behind the scenes. Since the beginning of its current form, KMOS TV has grown over the years and has earned the trust of its viewers like you. A lot of work goes into it and a lot of valuable experience for students. That's my favorite part of seeing students walk out of here with a great education. 35 years for KMOS, it's a milestone. We've made a lot of progress and, and it's, I'm glad we've been here this long and I think the people who actually put the proposal before the university back in 1978, they knew that it was a good thing for the, the region and it was an, good thing for the university and so I'm hoping that we're here at least another 35 years. From the home of the University Magazine. You know, happy birthday KMOS. Ronandis Johnson reporting for UMAG.